Hey my loves, welcome back. I hope that you are doing super well today. Okay, so just some updates. Um, The article for Witches Magazine for the summer edition is now out. So if you head over to witchesmagazine.com and uh, you can buy your copy. They do ship internationally and you can also get digital copies online. So you're going to enjoy the article. Um, I've written it about the emperor and how you can embody his magic for this, this summer time of year. Super exciting and I've just had the okay for the autumn edition for an article on everyone's perhaps least favourite card, the Hierophant. So it's quite an interesting read for you. Um, so yeah, go ahead along to Witches Magazine. Autumn will come out in a few months' time. It's not ready yet. Um, but I had to write it in advance, obviously. Um, so that's the first bit of news. Second bit of news, I've had my caesarean date for the 20th of August. So I am going to be going on maternity leave two weeks beforehand. So what does maternity leave mean for you? So in England, we get given nine months off, okay? The, the government pay you to have nine months off, which is is great. Um, but it obviously means that I'm not going to be here doing readings for you as I normally would. Now, what I can do is they, they give us something called kit days, which are called keeping in touch days. Sounds very important, doesn't it? Keeping in touch days. But basically, they're days that I can work. Um, and I get given 10 of them over the nine month period. I don't know when they're going to be because obviously it depends on my healing, depends on the baby, depends on everything going really, really well. Um, but if you want to follow me on Instagram, I will put updates there and I will say when I'm working. Um, the, the, I will be doing voice note readings throughout the time of that. Um, video readings, I'm not sure. It depends on my energy levels and things like that if I will be doing video readings. But I'll definitely be doing voice note readings for you all on those specific days so go and follow me on instagram mystic love tarot um i'll show you her i went to the so the other news went to the hospital i don't know if you guys remember but hunter was breech and if you remember that let's go, let's go rewind two years <laughs> he was breech so his head when he was born his head and his legs were like folded over um like a little sandwich she's turned so that's really good news um she's in like ready to drop which is really good news um and then the other side of things is that she's measuring small so they might want to get her out early depending on what happens in the next few weeks and um, so again just just make sure that you um are following on instagram for all the updates and i'll, I'll update you when i can I'll give you a little bump update for those of you that care yeah so she's out here now you wouldn't believe she's measuring small, right? I feel humongous. <laughs> that, that's where she is at this moment. Um, so yeah, so that's basically all of that news. So Witches Magazine, bump updates. Anything else I need to tell you? Next week, I'm away. It's the other thing, I'm in Glastonbury. If you're in Glastonbury, come find me, come say hi. Um, I'm going for the solstice. Um, I'm also seeing Taylor Swift. Do, 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 do. Um, so yeah, next week I am away. So those are all the updates. Um, again, stay up to date on Instagram. If you want voice note readings today, tomorrow, next few days, just let me know and I can get them done to you today. £10 per question for voice note readings, uh, video readings. I have got availability, slight delay with me going away. Right, on to your reading. So what we're doing today is your person's thoughts and feelings the last time you communicated, okay? So when we talk about communication, it could be when you saw them, it could be over text, it could be, it's the last time that you spoke with them, whether in person or, or on the phone or however you communicated. This is deck number one and this is deck number two. So for those of you that like the tarot, deck number one is the Book of Shadows by Andrea Asti, Italian, I think. I did ask him, you know, I asked him and I... Maybe he was from South America, I remember, because I said to him, oh, my husband's Brazilian and he's from South America, but th there's a Latin a Latin vibe. It's not Spanish or Italian, but obviously Latino language. <laughs> and and deck number two is the Dreaming Way Tarot. Okay, so Andrea's uh, Tarot and the Dreaming Way Tarot. Make your choice. So think about your person and I want you to go to the colour that you are most drawn to and the imagery that you're most drawn to. And we're gonna get cracking. Now, before we get into it, those of you that have chosen blue, this is all to do with communication. Those of you that have chosen the green, it's all to do with emotions. Mm. So off to an interesting start. Day number one. So as always, it works in the collective reading between you all. So anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later day or just disregard it um, because it's possibly not meant for you. Most of the stuff comes up at a later date, though. It's quite interesting. Okay, what did the person are asking about 
feel and think when they last saw them. Ace of Cups, Nine of Swords. It's a lovely deck this is. I'll show you in a sec. Seven of Pence. So those are the thoughts and let's get feelings as well. You've got the Ten of Wands. Couldn't see the number then. I'm a bit blind. Two of Wands. Feelings. And one more. One more, one more. Ace of Swords. Okay, bit of a mixed bag, guys. So let's start off with their thoughts. The first thing they thought about, last thing they thought about when they saw you is they can see a future with you, but they're scared to take that chance and, and they want to take it at their own speed and see what happens. Let's wait for it. For, let's see if it grows. That's it. That's their thoughts. Um, in short, so let's start off with the Ace of Cups. Romantic new beginnings, potential, uh, joining into a relationship, seeing a future with you, feeling that their emotions are very full, very strong feelings, very strong emotions, very strong, um, I can fall in love with you, or I already have feelings for you and I'm falling in love with you. So that's where their thoughts are, okay? So their thoughts are very emotional. We then follow that by a state of fear. So nine of swords coming into this. This is a little bit of mental anguish going on. So they are feeling a little bit stuck in the mind. They're feeling a little bit trapped in their thought process over it all. Um, and they're not quite sure what is the best way to progress this, okay? They are potentially going through this little bit of a difficult time in their own lives at the moment as well. So their head might be playing tricks on them. They might be feeling a little bit confused by everything that's happening in their life. They might be just having some really bad night's sleeps as well, insomnia kind of coming up to the surface. But it is this sense of mental anguish. So they can see a future with you, but they're a little bit in their head about it on how it could work out. So what they want to do with the seven of pence over here, here he is working with his big, strong muscles. They want to just take their time with it. They want to see what happens. They want to just go with the flow of it. So basically, they can see the potential of this relationship working out, but they've got a fear over it all. So they're just taking their time. And that's what happened when you last communicated that what was what was going through their thought process. So you might have had a bit of mixed messages. You might have had a bit of toing and throwing, a bit of whiplash, a bit backwards and forwards. You've got that sense of confusion that comes with it, um, but working it out. Now, interesting over here that we've got this blacksmithery as well. So when we, <clears throat> when the shrapnel is left over from the blacksmithery, I don't know if you've ever seen it. Okay, so this is from the blacksmith um, left over when he made some horseshoes for us. Um, <clears throat> This stuff is for protection, okay? So we use this in magic when we do we do protection magic. If you ever bought protection magic from me, this is likely to have gone into some of your spells. It's the, it's the shrapnel left over. So the reason why they are being a little bit standoffish with this as well is for this level of protection, okay? So they're trying to protect themselves. But they're, 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 you know, they could go with this. They're pretty cool with it. Their feelings. So in their feelings, you've got the Ten of Wands, Two of Wands, Ace of Swords. Ten of Wands, they're feeling quite burdened by things, okay? So they can see a pathway forward, again, with the Ace of Cups over here. They can see that there is a pathway forward for you guys. They want to tread it. They want to take those steps, but they've got that sense of fear in their thoughts holding them back. So they're feeling a bit stupid, like a bit, a bit silly, really, because they're like, I can see this person. I can have a future of you guys watching. I'm just going to tread and see what happens and take my time with it all. And that's going to irritate you because you're going to feel like, is anything moving forward here? They are burdened by these thoughts. And I feel as well for, for some of you guys, there's this sense of like stuff that's happened in relationships, in childhood, where they have felt that they are not good enough that perhaps they can't give you what you want and that burdens them as well. So they feel that you deserve really well, like more than perhaps they can give you. With the two of, the other thing again, like they have those emotions for you as we can see in the thought process, um, but they're, they're, it's like the burdens are holding them back from taking those next steps in their emotions. So they, they're going to be got the walls up a little bit as well. 
We've got the two of wands over here, but then thinking about things, thinking about is there a progression route? Where do we go next? Let's plan everything. Let's plan. If I feel like I've got a plan in place, I can make headway in what I want. That's that one. Okay, so the emotional side of things, holding back a little bit, but planning the potential of a future. And what they want to do with their emotions as well is the ace of swords. So cut away from all this bullshit that's going on in their mind and go with the flow of that. That's what they want to do. Again, that's what's coming up in the thought processes, cutting away from stuff that no longer serves them so that they can move themselves forward into a beautiful future with you. And that was their feelings last time that you met or spoke or communicated. So in short, thoughts and feelings kind of navigating down the same route that they, they want to see where it goes. They're emotionally invested in this, but they've just got a bit of fears going on, which is stopping them, allowing their emotions to come up to the surface. That's deck number one. If you need me, drop me a message. Same day return on voice note readings. Okay, deck number two. Just tapped in, tuned in, turned on. Um, I've given an update at the start of the reading. So if you do need me for individual readings, just give me a shout on Mystic Love Tarot. Also, you're going to want to log on there for when I go on to maternity. Um, it's on Instagram. I'm everywhere, actually. If you just Google Mystic Love Tarot, you will find me. <laughs> I have I have the name everywhere. Um but uh yeah if you need me for, for voice note readings etc etc okay let's have a look what happened what is your person thinking or feeling last time you communicated so we're doing the thoughts first you got the wheel you got the chariot big stuff nine of swords and feelings what were the feelings last time you communicated eight of swords there it is always sticky always sticky relationships devil <laughs> and your last one eight of cups right got a mixed bag baby thoughts and feelings navigating them in two different pathways their feelings are panicking them they can't see a future they don't know how to make it work they don't know how to move themselves forward they're stuck but they can't break away from you they can't break away uh, the thoughts I want to speak to you. I want to talk to you. I want to build a future. So we've got a real mixed up bundle of everything. So right off the bat, your person is very confused over this situation. Very confused over it all. So let's start off with the thoughts. Wheel of Fortune. Chariot. Knight of Swords. Okay. Knight of Swords coming in with very strong movement of communication. So you might have found that the communication that happened between you last was quite abrupt. It came out of nowhere. You weren't really expecting it to happen. They come in very quickly and said what they wanted to say. Now, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot, in their thought process, we have very positive cards going on over here. Again, cards of movement. So their thoughts are saying, right, I want to talk to you. I want to communicate with you. I want to say to you what's on my mind, where we're going. They are mind orientated cards. OK, both of them mind orientated cards. But with the chariot popping in as well, we have emotions. So your person has got feelings for you. They have got feelings for you and they are making that headway of movement, of communication and expressing those thoughts. The Wheel of Fortune popping in to say that you've probably been in a cycle with them for quite some time. Um, and it's always like this loop. You go around and round and round. And I just got from Dua Lipa, eat, sleep and breathe it, rehearse and repeat it. You've got this loop going round with you guys. But we have got this breaking away. OK, so their thought processes talking about how things can move forward. What's going to happen next? Where are we going? What's very clear in this thought process is that they want to talk to you. They want to communicate with you and um, they want you to be part of the conversation. They want you to respond to them. They want you to text them first. They want to feel loved by you. They want all of that. They want you to chase them a little bit. However, I'm not sure that's particularly a great idea, but that's that's what the person, your person that you're asking about wants. They have all these thoughts running through their mind over it all. OK, but it's all movement based, breaking out of cycles. Let's carry on talking. Let's see what happens. So this suggests to me that they enjoy the conversation with you. They enjoy the attention that you give them. They enjoy speaking. Um, and it's just kind of quite a positive vibration and the thoughts. Flipping it over to feelings. This is where it goes a little bit dodgy. Thoughts and feelings are pulling them in separate pathways, in separate directions. So their feelings over it all is, I feel stuck. 
with the Eight of Swords. I don't know how to step away from this because I feel the connection is extremely strong with the devil and that we've got this kind of, you know, pull towards each other, this magnetic pull. We're going towards each other and back. So on occasions, I'm going to go ghost and disappear. OK, and then I come back to the start with my thoughts and I communicate back. So you and them are definitely in this cycle. Definitely in this cycle while your person is working out what it is they want. So let's talk about their feelings. Eight of Swords. This is of the mind, okay? So even in their feelings, their head is playing tricks on them a little bit and they have the tendency to feel stuck in this situation. Now, when your person feels stuck and they feel trapped, they don't know how to progress things forward. So they just kind of stand on the shelf and wait to see what happens. They feel blinded, but they don't realise they can take off their blindfold and see the bigger picture. So they get that feeling of being stuck. The devil, the darker side of the lovers, feeling chained, feeling trapped, okay? They have this pull towards you, this magnetic pull. Sometimes it's an addiction. Like you have the highest of highs of them, you know, the absolute highest of highs. And then when it goes to shit, you have the lowest of lows. And when you're at the lowest, you're seeking the highs. And it is that kind of addictive behaviour that both of you are experiencing. So whenever your person says, right, you know what, that's it, I'm done, I'm out of here, I'm going to walk away from it, they keep coming back. And I'm just getting the song that says, we're going back to the start. I don't know who sang that, but I'm hearing that very clearly. So the emotions for you are a bit of a mixed up bunch as well, because the head is ruling the situation. The head is ruling in fear. The head is ruling in breaking out of cycles, but they don't know how. So overall, there are emotions for you. We have with the lover, with the devil, it's the darker side of the lover, so lovers. So I can't say that there aren't emotions for you. There are emotions here, but they are much more based on this kind of um, sexual drive, this this perhaps addiction, this this give me your attention vibe going on. That's what's happening with them, okay? So their thoughts pull them in the pathway of talking. Their feelings, last time you spoke, pulled them in the pathway of maybe I'm going to take a step back from it. And this cycle is what's going on. That's what's happening with them. So thoughts, their thoughts, loving talking to you, loving communicating with you, that will carry on. Feelings, giving you a little bit, taking it away, and that will carry on as well. So that's deck number two. Now, if you need me, deck number two, I realise that they are very confused at the moment. So if you need me, find me on Instagram. I do same day return on voice note readings. £10 a question if you want one. Um, <laughs> and I'm going on maternity leave soon. So keep me posted. I love you all and I will speak to you later. Many, many blessings. Ciao.